Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour on this ooh, 30 centimetre round. I've just put it on this tray. Um, I am using a bit of a mixture of paints here. I'm, I'm using some of the, um, the Global Impasto. The pouring medium is in the drop down box and I'm using a few of the high flow acrylics from Global. So, um, and I've mixed them with the same pouring medium that I've got in the drop down box for the other paints because they come quite thin. So putting a bit of the glue and water mix in with them um, thickens them up a little bit but because this particular one I'm going to do I'm going to blow it with the dryer I'm not calling it a Dutch pour because when I call it a Dutch pour it never works out so I'm just calling it um, a jilly pour jilly blow I don't know call it whatever you like I, I'm not up with all these names everybody uses I I don't know <laughs> So I'm just trying something that was in my head. Um, I've seen Molly do a starburst type one with the colours all the way round. Um, the lovely Molly. Um, and I thought, what if I do the colours sort of... I will just do it and then I will show, show you what was in my crazy mind. So... I'm going to just pour a um, this is white with metallic silver added so I will start from there and then I'm going to add some of my Berry Delicious which is uh, well you can either use uh, magenta or the uh, cool red add a blob of phalo blue and a little tiny bit of black if you would like it to go darker so I am putting it like like the face of a clock I suppose that's how I'm going to layer my paint so I'm just hoping and praying that my colours are the right consistency so they seem to be not overly thin but they're certainly not thick thicker than some so I'm going to try it so I want to do it this way something a little bit different um, now this is the high flow uh, metallic rose gold and I thought that would go nice with the um, my berry delicious so I'm just going to pour them down pretty close to each other. Oops, I've got to be careful. I'm not going to have enough if I pour that much. So slow it down, Jilly. Slow it down. Kind of looking like a starfish, isn't it? This um, high flow rose golds very um, sparkly which is nice so this is the high flow um, carmen red and again I've added my normal pouring medium which is in the drop down box of course I've made it th very thin so as it um, will blow And I'm thinking this is too thin because it's already starting to just roll off the canvas. It's a nice colour too. Um, do I? Do I? Do I? Now I was going to put a bright orange in there, but believe it or not, I've got this really khaki looking avocado and I have just got a feeling that I need to put some khakiness in there. Khaki, 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 whatever you call it. Is it khaki or khaki? 
Ooh, I don't know. <sighs> Gotta laugh at yourself. So everybody else laughs at me. So this is the khaki, the khaki. And now I'm going to add some of the global um, gold, metallic gold. Well, I'm all over the place like a hairy ghost, I'll tell you. I cannot... Ca <laughs> oh, gosh. What are you doing? I had my baby granddaughter come visit me today with the kids. And, oh, my goodness, she's just a delight. I will try to remember to add some photos, either the beginning or the end, so you may have already seen. My baby granddaughter, little Penny, she's growing and just thriving so beautifully. All right, that looks a bit of a monstrosity, doesn't it? But we just see how it um, blows out. If it's yucky, then I will just go over it with something or the other. So I am going to add a bit of my... This is the... Um, maybe I don't even need this. Actually, I won't add it. It was the white in the um, Amsterdam white and Floetrol. So I've got this thingy on here so I don't know whether to do it that way or that way I'll do it that way I'll try and put it on the lowest and I'll put it on cool that's cool okay let's try this let me get it I'm just about blowing all my colour off it. Kind of looking like marble effect. I think because I've got my dryer on low, I don't want the dryer to blow it off over the other side of the room. I think I've got way too much paint, but you know, I'm just going to go with it and cover the canvas and then I will see. Maybe I'll turn it up one notch. Oh. Okay. basically blew it all off over the edge which I don't mind because I might load the colours that I want to come through now with no none of that silver but this that metallic gold has made it really um, lustery and sheeny shiny so I will continue on now with a bit of the in the same kind of now I've got rid of some of the heaviness of all the other bits and bobs that I had on there see if I can do anything with this now I actually like the way that that's gold and the khaki green as the gold and the khaki green look really cool together actually I've got enough purpley down there let's put a little bit of that carmine red of the high flow so we'll see what we can get out of this you 
use a bit of that that's the rose gold or use it over this side where there's some darker color over here with the khaki I've got a little bit tiny little bit of gold left a really nice bright gold here put it through that purple looks kill too cool for skill. That would probably come up really beautiful um, resined, but anyway, we will. I will just plod along with it. See what I can get. definitely something different uh, I might squirt a bit of my this is a bit of the um, Amsterdam white and just Floetrol I'll just give myself something maybe to blow it I might not need it but we'll give it a go so let's go back here again find your duva this actually looks very pretty I mean it's not a traditional by any means traditional Dutch pori thing but it is very pretty the colors that have come through in it are very nice I like it so that's all that matters She does. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I like it. Look at that. Wow. I like it. Okay, I love that. That's beautiful. I'm going to bring the camera down and show you its deliciousness and hope that you like it too. There you go. Look at the shimmer in that. I wanted it to kind of the colours to go out clockwise so they didn't mix so much if I'd have spiral poured the colours so they're all going outward. I'll tell you that that khaki colour with the gold and that berry is very nice. So it's a little different. There's the whole thing. Um, that with resin on will absolutely pop its socks off. So I hope you liked trying something different again. It's very 
sparkly because of that luster in the paint. So I really like it and it is definitely going to look nice with resin on. Or just a gloss finish will do it beautifully. So thank you so much for joining me again today. Until tomorrow, take care you people, do something that you enjoy and uh, yeah, try and have a laugh. It's very good for you. Okay, bye for now.